Can bowling balls absorb water? That's the question. That's the stuff that keeps me up at night. If bowling balls can absorb oil, can they absorb water? I put it to the test on this zigzag, 14 pounder. Grabbed it, put it on the scale. It came in at 13.752 pounds. After a week of sitting in the bucket of water, it came into 13.816 pounds. And after even another week, it came in at 13.832 pounds. The ball absorbed one, almost 1.3 ounces of water into the shell. So how is that gonna affect performance? And why am I even doing this test? I don't know, I just wanna see. That's the whole purpose of it. This is the stuff that I think about. This is the science I think about. But if you think about it, if you live in a humid area or say you leave it on a you know, wet towel or whatever, will it absorb? And the answer is yes. And it comes back to an old story from juniors, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, throw the ball. The thing I noticed that anything, maybe the colors are a little bit more vibrant, but also the color of my grip, which was clear, has now turned into kind of an opaque, like a frosty opaque on one side, which is kind of neat. I don't know if that's a reaction with the super glue in there, who knows? but I'm gonna throw some shots with it and just see if there's any difference that I noticed from the original test and all that stuff. Still hooks. I mean, the ball is still tacky. Now, I only threw this ball, I think in the 14 versus 15 video and then the 14 versus 16 video. So it maybe only has a couple games on it. So we're not talking about a lot of oil absorption here or anything like that. Now the other question is, will the oil absorb just the same being on there? And the last question will be, will the water come out if I put it in the reviver oven and try to sweat it out with heat? All these things we're going to find out in this video. So the first thing is I wanted to check out is will it still hook? And after that first shot, yeah, it still hooks quite a bit. Let's try again. Hooks a lot, okay. So when a ball gets too much oil absorbed into its shell, the ball performance is a little bit less and less. Now will this impact the way it absorbs oil and goes down the lane? So far, first couple shots, ball hooks a ton. I might have to move left. So judging by the stuff on the shell, there's plenty of oil on there. And as we all know, water and oil don't mix. So will it repel oil and make it not absorb? We're gonna find out. So that ball hooks a lot. I'm gonna move a couple boards left with my feet here. See if we can't get this ball back. Man. <laughs> this is turned into like a super performance ball. So the funny story I have from juniors is we had this old quantum a jade or sage quantum, I think the sage, pearly. And it was in a trunk of a car and it rained really hard. We had El Nino or something one year, whatever. Anyway, the trunk leaked and filled the trunk with water and the ball absorbed. And back then we all threw 16 pounds. Well, the story was this ball absorbed so much water that it's now a 17 pound ball. We never waited to find out, but the ball just felt heavier. And so we said, this ball is the super ball because it's 17 pounds. Now, was it? No, probably not. Judging by my test of soaking it in a bucket of water for two weeks, it absorbed approximately 1.3 ounces of water. That's it. So based on that, no, there's no way that I think it could get to 17 pounds. There's no way you're sucking in a pound of water. <laughs> oh my gosh. I threw that out to like one or two board. I thought I was gonna gutter. That thing came back so hard. But 
This is the fun stuff I get to do. You know, you think about it. It's like, if you live in humid areas, will that affect your ball? Obviously, if you live in the desert and you leave your bowling balls in the heat, you're basically cooking your bowling balls all the time. And we never recommend going over 130 degrees with an oven, with a reviver oven. Do not use your home ovens to revive a ball and get the oil out. Water doesn't seem to impact performance, and that's okay. You know, I never thought that it would. So, if you do happen to find your ball in a bucket of water for too long, don't worry, don't fret, it'll be fine. That's hooking. Yeah. yeah, I don't really see a performance difference. The ball still reacts plenty strong. So, let's, uh, let's head into the lab, see if we can't sweat out some oil, and then we'll get back on the lanes. All right, so we have to bowl one more time. Let's weigh it up after we bowl with it. 13.826, so it's dropped just a little bit since we bowled. Now let's put it in the oven. Get it set up here. All right, so we'll let that heat up. And we'll get it to 130 and see if anything comes out. All right, so it's been in here for about 10 to 15 minutes. Got up to temperature. And we're going to see if anything is coming out of this ball right now. And right now, it doesn't feel like much of anything. There's no liquid on the outside. I don't feel anything yet, so we'll give it a little bit more time. And then we gave it another 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so. And we're gonna give it a look. Still, nothing feels on the cover there. Ball is fairly warm to the touch. Let's try to give it a, see if it lost any weight while I was in there. So yeah, it is losing some weight. All right, this has been in there for about a half hour. Let's see what we got. Definitely warm to the touch, but I don't, there's nothing coming out like oil would when you sweat a ball and it stays on the surface because water on the other hand will evaporate. Oil will not. Let's try this out. Let's get this back on the scale and see. So yeah, th this is losing weight. This is getting lighter as we go. All right, so we're back out on the lanes. I think what we realized was that a bowling ball, yes, will absorb water. Now when you try to sweat it out like you would oil in a reviver, it doesn't just stay on the shell, but it goes into the atmosphere. So that's why I wasn't seeing anything on the ball, on the surface, even after 30 minutes at 130 degrees. So let's throw a few more shots and we'll just wrap this video up. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, one of those things where will it affect anything? That was my main question. Got to warm back up here. Uh, and I think we found out that no. And I think that over time, if you were to get your bowling ball somehow waterlogged, it would evaporate on its own. Even though it does suck in oil into the shell, I don't think it impacted performance. I still think the ball recovered nicely on the lane. It still hooked quite a bit. I don't think we saw that issue. It would probably take a few hours or maybe overnight just sitting at room temperature for the water to evaporate into the atmosphere. Hooking. Yeah. So, trying to sweat out the water didn't really do anything, you know? So what did we learn? And that's the big question is this, what's the point of this video? And there really is no point. Other than I think we proved a couple things is that bowling balls will absorb water. If you leave them against a wet towel or soaking in water, they will absorb water. Just as they absorb oil, the ball is going to absorb water. 
Does it impact performance? Not that I saw. The ball is still plenty strong when it was fully waterlogged and it's still just as strong after I've taken some of the water out. It's obviously not as light as it once was, but like I said, after a little bit of time and putting it out there, the atmosphere would take care of that. So the water would just kind of go back up into the heavens. Uh, performance wise, yeah, the ball still hooks. The ball still does what it's supposed to do. So is there any detriment? I mean, some people like to do a hot water bath to get the oil out of their ball and that's perfectly okay. Tap water, as long as it doesn't go above 130 degrees. Yeah, this is more just like a funny science video for me. You know, I'm curious about certain things about bowling still and what exactly matters and what doesn't. I think that's gonna wrap it up. You know, we learned a few things in this video. Is it gonna make your life any different in bowling? Are you gonna worry about bowling balls absorbing water? Well, we learned that they can absorb water. How that impacts performance? I don't think it really did. Now we can go into something even more depth by doing a oil absorption test with the ball fully waterlogged, but we're not gonna get that deep into this. I just wanted to see if bowling balls will absorb water like they do oil. Will it impact performance? And two, can you sweat it out just like you would oil out of a bowling ball? And I think we learned those things. I think that's all for this video. If you guys learned anything, if you guys, I don't know, I don't know why you would have, but if you did, put them in the comments below and uh, check out the merch on Inside Bowling. Links in the description. Please subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be more fun vids like this in the future. Talk to you guys soon.